The sales targets, is this, is this entirely about consumer weakness, broader macroeconomic weakness in the economy? Yes, definitely. I think a big part of that is that consumer sentiment has been really hit by the slowing economy. We've seen some pretty worrying economic data from China uh, recently. And so consumers are really putting off making big purchases like cars. And another reason for um, a lot of these car makers not hitting 50% uh, of their sales target now that we're halfway into the year is that some of them have been really aggressive and raising their goals from last year to this year. Uh, for example, BYD, China's largest clean car brand, they've actually doubled their target, um, more than doubled their target uh, to this year. So it's going to be an uphill battle for them to really hit that. I mean, when you have broader skepticism about the economic recovery in China, what can they actually do to get those sales going again? So they don't have a lot of uh, tactics in their playbook. Uh, one thing they'll probably keep doing is to continue to cut prices. We've seen uh, brands like Cadillac uh, recently actually reduce the, um, their EV, the Lyric, by 60,000 yuan. So there's a definitely trend of this uh, price cuts going to keep going. And then automakers are also going to keep uh, bringing up new models to try to excite the consumers and get them to really consider buying a new car.